अभिवादन सबकार करिए एम सोशल मीडिया का और इस समय जो एक महान शख्सियत मेरे साथ हैं श्री रविंद्र शर्मा सर मेरा सौभाग्य है सबसे पहले मुझे आगे आ दें मैं आपके चरण स्पर्श करूं यू आर सच एन ए ग्रेट पर्सनालिटी सर और एम्स का सौभाग्य ये है सर कि यहाँ के जो सर्वो सर्वा हैं वो आपके स्टूडेंट रहे हैं विदेश में और धरती का स्वर्ग कहे जाने वाले कश्मीर में भी स्किम्स जैसी जो संस्था है उसमें आप रहे हैं और ना जाने कितने पीरे फकीरों का इलाज किया और इस उम्र में भी आप बहुत सक्रिय हैं एम्स की ओर से मैं आपका धन्यवाद ही हूँ कि आपने एम्स में दर्शन दिए यहाँ की फैकल्टी को आपने बहुत ज्ञान दिया ये ज्ञानवर्धक बातें वो सदैव याद रखेंगे आपसे पहले मैं यही अनुरोध करूँगा कि आप एम्स में आए आपने पूरे विश्व के आप स्थान देखे एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूट या सारे ट्रीटमेंट करने वाले सर एम्स में जो आपने देखा तो क्या अनुभव आपने सर एम्स से देखकर आपकी पहली प्रतिक्रिया दर्शकों के लिए सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर काइंड एंड फ्लैटरिंग वर्ड्स आई हैव नॉट सीन मच ऑफ एम्स येट आई हैव सीन अ बिट ऑफ एम्स आई हैव रेड क्वाइट अ लॉट अबाउट एम्स and uh, from to time to time professor shakti gupta has been sending me photographs of this institution as it has been coming up over the years and i've got a whole whole uh, stock of those photographs so looking at them i think it is a wonderful institution which i'm most very fortunate to have had in in this state and uh, i am very proud of the fact that the institution has been brought to the present status in the short period of 3 and a half years when it was supposed to be completed in about 5 years time and uh, it's a well it's a very good start and the faculty is young energetic enthusiastic ambitious and i hope with all the good energy and a proper spirit of service and excellence the institution will gain the real status that it deserves to achieve professor arun sharma sir got mbbs from panch daryaon ki dharti punjab then after that with lot of encouragement from that all great doctors in amritsar who had been in abroad given lot of things new to the patients particular urology then came back shrinagar you treated number of the patients not only of the urology not only lot of another uh, patients suffering from different disease they were on the operation table to save their life and now those days sir in present days what do you feel the difference between your top surgery and now surgery in whole of the country sir well harvanshi first of all i must tell you sir that when i came back to this country with my training in urology unfortunately there was no equipment available to do any urology in jammu and kashmir sir and it was only general surgery i was doing sir and a little bit of urology because the equipment was non existent and it did not come for years and years and it was only the later part of my life that i went to sheri kashmir institute of medical sciences that i was able to do proper urology before that i spent most of my life doing general surgery so i am a general surgeon first and foremost and then a urologist to be quite honest with you and fair with you i'm not a first urologist and then a general surgeon no it's the other way around even with my training i couldn't do any urology no equipment was available in fact they wanted to make a, make me they made me an offer uh, to to that if you want a quick promotion will make you professor of urology straight away i said no i declined the promotion because i did, i knew i will be rotting and send in a support in a corner and then i will lose contact with the mainstream there will be no equipment i will just waste my time so i i refused that offer 
because I, I, knowing this state as well as I do, coming from here, it takes time for things to get done. So I, to put you in the proper perspective, I think you're already developed much later. And uh, you're saying abroad and here. Basically now, the, the world is shrinking. Knowledge is spreading all over. From my time, we used to do open surgery. Now it is endoscopic surgery. It is the laparoscopic surgery. It is robotic surgery. These things, these things were non-existent at that time. Sir, those days, the disease already comes up. What was the reason at present disease is coming up, disease are developing? Is it somewhere is it wrong in the food supplement or in the diet or environmental? You have a lot of experience, sir. I'll request you to share with the audience, sir. <laughs> First of all, I think it is a misconceived notion altogether what you have stated. I do not agree with that at all. Disease has existed before and the disease exists now also. It is only it was well known. The media was not there. The publicity was not there. There was no way of disseminating all this information. Now there is an information and we know a lot more about things. Disease was always there. Yes. Certain diseases have become more common now because of the changes in the lifestyle of people. People live a kind of life where the disease is related to, say, heart problems, for example, much more definitely now than it used to be many years ago. I mean, the heart is much more problem. Stress in life is much more. People are more ambitious. They want more out of life. And they pay the price in terms of um, having these uh, various conditions, mainly related to stress. And uh, they are heart problems, blood pressure, diabetes. Diabetes was not so common. Those days people used to work, uh, do a lot of physical work. They didn't exercise. Nowadays nobody wants to go um, even one mile. They, will, they don't like to walk a mile. Everybody goes in a car. So lifestyle changes have brought about certain uh, change in the, in the disease pattern on the whole. Yes, there is a change in life pattern. And not, not, not so much with the diet. It is with the change in life. Uh, diet more or less has, uh, with little alteration. The diet has, uh, I don't think diet has much bearing upon it, personally. This is my personal view. Right, sir. Sir, in the last, sir. AIMS social media will request to you, sir, give your thought, give your lesson to all our audience as aapka action desh. First of all, thank you so much, sir, for asking me this question. Although I've not uh, given much thought to it, but I think the most important thing is live a simple life. Be simple, simple food. take rest daily, sleep regularly, don't work late hours in the night. After all, what are you working so hard for? To making a little bit more money, having a bigger house, driving a bigger car. What is that? Is that all worth it? I, I don't think so, personally, because at the end of the day, you will wonder. I've met many famous and big people in, in the UK who have made their name, this and that. At the end of the day, end of the day, you understand. At the end of the day, they used to say, oh, sorry, we wasted our life. Life was not worth it. What we've done was not worth it. Why did we do all this? So really, life should be lived simply and you should enjoy moment to moment. Enjoy moment to moment. And uh, that's it, I think. Now also give you thanks, sir, from the AIMS also. Thank you very much and a privilege for me. Like your great personalities and this age, still you are active. And the same 
गिव ब्लेसिंग टू ऑल अवर ऑडियंस सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर विल टेक यहीं पर कार्यक्रम की समाप्ति थैंक यू थैंक यू